Welcome to the seventh lecture on computational geometry. Today you will learn about Voronoi diagrams or the post office problem. Let's start with the definition of the problem. You are living in some huge town and there are several post offices and you urgently have to bring your parcel to a post office. So how do you decide to which post office to get? For example, you are here. Of course, you want to pick the closest. So if you are here, then you want to go to this post office. Well, this is easy if you're at home, then you have to only do it once, but maybe you are somewhere else, like here. And now you again quickly want to find what's the closest post office that you have to go to. And to decide that, what we can do is we can pre-process the whole map and we can find out for every point beforehand what is the closest post office. So we can divide the map into regions where every region knows what is the closest post office and if I am in this region, where do I have to go? Then you only have to figure out in which region you are. Let's first have a look at the very simple version of this problem where we only have two post offices. How do the regions look like now? In this case, we would take the bisection of these two points. And now if you're on the right side of this, then this is the closer post office. And if you're on the left side of this, then this is the close. And we get this bisection if we just take the segment between them and then take an orthogonal through the midpoint of this. So if we have two points P and Q, then we can define the bisection of P and Q as the set of all points in the plane where the distance to P is the same as the distance to Q. So this is exactly the border between the region of these two points. If you are on this red line, then we, it doesn't matter if we go to P or Q, we have the same distance. If you are in the green, then we want to go to Q. If you are in the blue, we want to go to P. So this is the half plane that is closer to P than to Q. Well, this is all the points where the distance to p is smaller than the distance to q. And this is the half plane that's closer to p q than to p. So this is where we can define the regions if we only have two points. But what if we have more? Again, they take the same example as in the beginning. And now I want to draw for you, before we know how to compute this, how these regions look like. And this is called the Voronoi diagram of P. If we are in some region here, then the, this point is the closest to all the points in this region. For everybody in this region, this is the closest of these orange points. For everybody on some boundary, like here, these two are bo have both the same distance. And if we are at a corner, then even these three have the same distance. And the shape of these Voronoi diagrams, that's something that you can even find in nature. For example, if you have soap bubbles, then at the point where they meet, it also looks very similar to what we have here. Or even just the shape of the skin of a giraffe also looks kind of like a Voronoi diagram. 